Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the precession full wave rectifier using KiCad tool and we would be using LM741 op-amp for this design purpose. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. You can see from the video uh, that uh, I have done the calculation of how this particular circuit uh, is designed so you can use this particular calculation uh, and you can do the following design so I have given this for your reference purpose so now let us start the design so open the schematic window and uh, this is particular window called as e schema okay in which we will design the circuit now click on place symbol and click on the schematic window so the global library loads and uh, from the global library we have to select lm741 place this particular op-amp on the schematic window now right click on the properties edit properties and define the reference as u1 and uh, now select the aspect as mirror around x-axis click on edit spice model select the model now we have to select the lm741 model file for the simulation purpose and select the type as sub circuit and define the alternate node sequence as 3 2 7 4 6 and click ok now we have placed one particular op-amp we have to place another lm741 which would act as an summing amplifier so place this particular op-amp on the schematic window go to properties edit property define the reference as u2 and aspect as mirror around x-axis click on edit spice model save this particular lm741 model and select the type as sub circuit alternate node sequence as 3 2 7 4 6 and click ok next click on schematic window and from the library select the resistor symbol and place this particular resistor on the schematic window now click on properties edit properties define the reference as r1 and the value of resistor as 1k and select the orientation as plus 90 now we have to place another resistor in the schematic window so click on the schematic window select resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic click on properties edit properties define the reference as r2 and the value as 2k and select the orientation as plus 90 we will place third resistor which is r3 on the schematic window so click on the resistor select properties edit properties define the reference as r3 and define the value as 680 ohm and place this on the schematic window now we have to place the diode so in the filter search for 1N418 diode and place this particular diode on the schematic window we have to place another diode so select 1N418 and place this particular diode on the schematic now right click on the diode go to properties edit properties define the reference as d1 
go to edit spice model and select the library as model and uh, select the BJT model out of which we will select the 1 and 418 diode and select the alternate node sequence as 2 and 1 define the orientation as it has to be minus 90 uh, so select minus 90 and click OK similarly we have to define the model for the second diode so follow the same procedure what we did define the reference as T2 and select the 1N418 model for the simulation purpose and define the alternate node sequence as 2 comma 1. Now click on place wire and we have to connect the resistor R1 to the op-amp terminal 2 and connect the resistor R3 to the op-amp terminal 3. Connect the resistor R2 to the terminal of op-amp and to the resistor R1 and connect the diode D1 to resistor R2 and the terminal of op-amp 2. Connect the output that is pin number 6 of op-amp to the diode D2 and from diode D1 to the terminal of op-amp 6 and the diode D2. Connect the resistor R2 to the diode D2. Now click on place symbol and from the library we have to select the resistor and place this particular resistor on the schematic window. Right click on the resistor, select edit properties, define the reference as R4 and the value of resistor as 1K and select the orientation as plus 90. Now, what we can do is that we can also copy this particular resistor. So right click on resistor R4 and select duplicate. Place this particular resistor on the schematic window now and we have to edit the properties. So right click on resistor, go to edit properties, define the reference as R5 and define the value as 1K okay so now again we will duplicate this and place this particular resistor on the schematic window and right click go to edit properties define the reference as r6 and define the value as 3.9 kilo ohm okay and now click on place symbol and place the particular symbol r on the schematic window now right click select properties edit properties define the reference as r7 and the value as 470 ohm and click ok click on place power port and place the ground on the schematic window now select the ground and place this particular ground on the schematic window so we have to place the ground connection where all the ground connections are required okay next click on wire and connect the wire from d2 to resistor r5 and from resistor r5 to the op-amp terminal 2 and from the terminal 3 of second op-amp to the resistor r7 and from the resistor R7 to the ground and resistor R3 to the ground. Next, connect the wire from resistor R1 to resistor R4 and from resistor R4 to the terminal 2 of op-amp and resistor R5. 
and connect the resistor R6 to the terminal between the op-amp and the resistor R4. Connect the R6 to the output terminal 6 of the op-amp. Now we have to place the voltage source. So from the global library type pSpice and select the voltage source and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window. Now we have to place two more voltage source. So this particular voltage source will be for the op-amp and the input voltage source which we would be providing to the circuit. Now we have to place the ground for all the voltage source. So click on place port and place this particular ground connection on the schematic window. So place the ground for all the voltage source which is present in the circuit. Now select or place the global label on the schematic. So click on schematic. Now define the label as VCC. Place this particular label on the schematic window. Next click on schematic. Place the label VEE and place this particular label on the schematic window. Now we will place the label VIN on the schematic window. We have to also place the label VEE and VCC for the op-amps that is op-amp 1 and the op-amp 2 and similarly do it for op-amp 2. Click on wire and connect the VEE to terminal 4 of op-amp and VCC to terminal 7 of op-amp. Similarly, do it for the op-amp number 2. Now connect the label B in to positive end of voltage source and negative end to the ground. The VE to the positive end of source and VCC to the positive end of the source and the negative ends are connected to the ground. Now right click on the voltage source, click on properties, edit property, define the reference as BCC, define the value as 15 and go to edit spice model, define the DC value as 15 volts and click OK. We have to do similarly for VEE source. Go to properties, edit properties, define the reference as VEE and value of source as minus 15 and click on edit spice model and define the value as minus 15 volt and click OK. Now we have to define the input source. So go to properties, edit property, define the reference as V in a value, put it as zero. We will go to edit spice model and here we will define sinusoidal and define the DC offset as zero amplitude as uh, 0.5 volt and the frequency as 1 kilohertz and click OK. Now click on place global label. We have to place the V input for this particular circuit. So define the label as V in, click OK. Now click on wire and connect the global label VN to the resistor R1. Now uh, this particular circuit is complete and we have to uh, define the input statement. So go to place and click on graphic text and place this particular graphic text on the schematic window. So now type dot tran 1 milli, 10 milli and 100 micro and place this on the schematic window. Now save this particular 
schematic and go to tools select the simulator now run this particular simulation go to probe and place the probe on the output of opam2 you can see the output uh, full wave rectifier output of the circuit now go and place the probe on v in you can see the input versus output the right hand side is the inverting summing amplifier circuit which we defined earlier the input voltage applied to the terminal a of the summing amplifier and to the input of the precession rectifier note that the resistor r2 in the precession half wave rectifier circuit has twice the resistor of r1 so the rectified voltage applied to terminal b of summing amplifier is two times the input voltage during the positive half cycle of the input the voltage at terminal a is v n while at the terminal b is twice the input which is in the negative direction the output of the summing circuit at r5 will be given as shown in this particular simulation thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below